Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some faded mate romances. I love the fade and mate trope. I have a few recommendations on my channel if you're interested, if you want even more recommendations. But here are 10 new ones I have not talked about yet. So let's get started. I was putting this list together and I realized I didn't have any of these books as like physical copies. So like that needs to change. I need to find physical copies for these books. Um, first is The Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate by Casey Wells. I love this one. Um, it was one of my favorite books of last year. Our heroine is one of like the lowly people on the totem pole um, in this werewolf pack and she also has a physical disability. She walks with a limp and has scars on her body and she ends up realizing that the alpha of this pack is her mate and he rejects her in front of everybody. He's like, I would know if you're my mate. Like, you're obviously not. Like, now I reject you. And she runs off into the woods and is so heartbroken and physically like hurt. Like, someone rejecting the bond like hurts so bad. She gets the witch, the pack witch to basically sever the bond on her side to remove it. Quickly the hero realizes, oh, wait a minute, something's like wrong. I think she actually was my mate and he has to grovel his butt off to make Una the heroine, to make her come back to him. So it takes a lot of groveling though, but it's so good. This one is so stinking good. Um, I do need to continue on with the series. I've only read, um, I think the first three books, which all are rejected mates. So if you want rejected mates, check out that whole series. Next is Ensnared by the Werewolf by Lillian Lark. This is another, Rejected May book. Um, so <laughs> this is the romance between a witch and a werewolf and they figure out that they're fated mates. Um, but the heroine is like adamant and pretty sure that the hero like rejected her and he hunts her down when she like runs away from him. And yeah, it's a very short novella so I can't really talk about anything else with it, but I love like romances with like witches and wolves. They're super fun. Next is Fate Touched by Lisa Ray Roman. This one um, takes place in our world on earth. Paranormal creatures exist and there are creatures called like Fate Touched creatures which are very rare and our heroine just happens to be one of them. She can basically kind of like time and slow down time and no one's really heard of that affinity before. Anyway, she works I think at a dress shop if I'm not mistaken one night and the vampire queen comes to visit the shop to shop around and someone tries to assassinate her and our heroine ends up saving her life but showing that she has powers at the same time and the queen takes her in to where she lives and catches the eye of one of the queen's bodyguards who is Samuel a werewolf shifter. Our heroine is a fey touched person. She is touched by the fey and that's a very rare gift to have. She may or may not be fey to mates with Samuel, this werewolf creature bodyguard. Dark City Omega by Elizabeth Stevens is next. This one is a little chunky, but it's really good. Okay, there is an audiobook by the way. So if chunky books are easier on audio form, like it I are for me, I recommend this one. <laughs> Our heroine is an Omega. She just figures out she's an Omega and she's running from her people because they kicked her out of their city because they found out she's an Omega. Um, Omega is very coveted by alphas, obviously. And she is running away from these people trying to find her. And she gets basically tackled by this wolf shifter. And she tries to kill him. He, She believes he's trying to kill her. Little does she know that he scented his mate and he basically tackled her to the ground and she's adamant that like he's gonna kill her. But that's the exact opposite, exact opposite. So um, I don't wanna talk about it too much else because I don't wanna spoil it, but it's a great read. I do need to read the second book in the series. I own the second one. I need to read it. It looks really good as well. But the Fade Mate aspect in here was really cool. Ruling Six Sand by Victoria Aveline so good. This one's one of my favorite books of the year. I freaking love this book so much. It's the latest book out in her Clicanian series, which is an alien romance series. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay, so Clicania is a planet that is notoriously known for being like very technologically advanced, except for this one specific area on the planet, which is the area that Sixthand rules. Um, it has no technology whatsoever because his people, he and his people, ride these creatures kind of like dragons a little bit, but like not because they're alien creatures but the frequency that technology like puts off like basically like scrambles these creatures brains and so they don't have them like any technology whatsoever throughout the whole city so i love like i loved that because i love like barbarian-esque books and that's kind of like what this was um so sick band is a very good ruler but he's also very a very grumpy ruler okay i love a little grump um uh, or a big grump in this case um he also has a tail and he's covered in tattoos and um, the heroine is a human woman that he and his people actually like kidnapped. And he's been watching her through this two way mirror that is in her room. He's kind of like stalking her. And anyway, they have to get in an arranged marriage to like unite their peoples and whatnot. And that's all I can say, but it's so stinking good. They may or may not actually be fated mates. 
at the end of this. So if you're gonna read any book from this list, you gotta read this one. Like it is, it's my favorite. I love it. Next is Alien Tyrant by Ursa Dax. This is the first book in the Fated Mates of the Sea Sand War Warlord series. That's a tongue twister. So our heroine and a bunch of other human women have been kidnapped from Earth's government and have been sent to this planet to communicate and learn more about the aliens that are there. The ship ends up crashing and being taken over once they get on this planet and the hero and his people end up saving some of the human women. And there's a big language barrier. It's kind of like Ice Planet Barbarians, but more desert instead of ice. So yeah, and turns out they're fated mates, but they can't talk to each other. So they're trying to like figure each other out, even though she doesn't know what fated mates are. And it, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I do need to continue on with the series. I know people love some of the other books in the series. American Werewolf in Space by Alicia Sunderland is my next one. This was a Beam Me Up book. So Tiffany and I from Tip Talks Pages, we run the Beam Me Up book club where we read like alien and monster romances. This was one of our picks. We have a whole entire live show talking about this book. And um, our heroine is actually a werewolf and you don't see a lot of female werewolves, I feel like as heroines in romance books. So um, she ends up getting kidnapped by aliens and she's like in the cell on the spaceship. She's like, these people have no idea who they just kidnapped. <laughs> and she ends up like basically tearing apart the entire ship. Like she's like, I can break the bars like, like a snap. I'm gonna kill everyone and we're gonna save each other like on this ship, like her and all the human women. And so she goes into one of like the rooms on the spaceship after they've commandeered it. And there's this giant creature like locked up. It's just like, what are you? It basically looks like Venom, like the like the villain, super villain, superhero ve Venom. It basically looks like it. the moment that she looks at him, she's like, shit, he's my fate of me. Like this alien creature is my fate of me. So <laughs> that's how it starts. I don't want to spoil it. And it is actually a duet, which we haven't finished the duet yet, which we, we need to, Tiffany, we need to. I have a whole series, okay? This is Alien Protector's Mate by Melissa Emerald. Um, this is the first book in the Fated Mates of the Winged Barbarians. If you didn't know, I love barbarians, like I said before. So I was a sucker for this. This is like IPB, Ice Planet Barbarians, but on like a jungle planet. And these men have never seen a woman in their entire life. They're these like winged, sparkly men creatures. Basically when they find their fate and mate, their skin sparkles. <laughs> Which reminds me of Edward, obviously, um, which we love. Anyway, these human women have been kidnapped from Earth and their spaceship crashes on this planet filled with alien men who know nothing about women. And there's a language barrier and other things going on, but it's good. I've read the first two books, so I do recommend it if you want something like Ice Planet barbarian -esque. but no ice, obviously. <laughs> Next is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human by Kimberly Lemming. This is a very funny romance between a human who we thought was dead and a dragon shifter. And that's all there is to it, honestly. The heroine's been kidnapped by a different dragon. And so our hero, the dragon, comes to visit his dragon friend and is like, what is this human woman doing here? And ends up saving her and trying to bring her back to her sister, who's the heroine from book number one. And they may not be fate of mates, obviously. So I love Kimberly Lemming's books. I think all of her books have like the fate of mate trope in them. My last book is Her Alien Farmhand by Honey Phillips. Our heroine is in desperate need of like a farmhand for her farm. So when she's in town to try and find a farmhand, her friend convinces her to go on a blind date with somebody on this planet in this bar. And she thinks that it is our hero. <laughs> she thinks that's him. And they hit it off really well. They have a grand old night together. And she realizes, oh my gosh, that's actually not the guy that my friend set me up with. I don't know who this man is. Oh my gosh. And anyway, he also gets roped into like helping her on the farm and stuff. It's a short, quick, cute alien romance that I really enjoyed. I love alien romances that take, take place on a farm. And yeah, they may or may not be fated mates as well. Anyways, so you have it. Those are some romances with the Fade and Mate trope. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me an apple emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.